Holy moly, is this wedding a mess? It looks like a Catholic church, but it isn't. No. Tatiana and Bart need some divine intervention. And in religion? Wars have been fought for less. The father of the groom is PO'd, and the father of the bride is MIA. You get married once, you want your father to walk the aisle with you. This blessed event is turning into a nightmare. And now we haven't got a wedding. A crazy nightmare. Tell me there's a bride in here. I need a bride. Tatiana and Bart first met at work, but their connection was not working. Now see, what's wrong with this guy? He has to chill out a little bit. I guess I give up the impression that I'm a... A jerk. A jerk? Yeah. Um. But as fate would have it, that jerk changed his stripes. Tatiana changed her mind, and Bart popped the question. Sort of. He actually said to me, I want you to be the wife of my kids. I didn't have it planned out as you can tell. Not planned, kind of like the wedding that's fast approaching. I have to be on him all the time. Did you do this? Did you call the DJ? Did you make the appointments? No, I didn't. And I said, what's wrong with you? It's enough to make Tatiana crazy. But where she's from, people like to get crazy at weddings. I'm from Colombia, and for La Hora Loca, which is at the crazy hour, we wear crazy hats, uh, we have the glow sticks. I'm pretty sure I'm missing stuff because I'm not familiar with this type of big wedding. Because it's like Canadian, Polish, Colombian. It's, it's all the crazy. Thing. Yeah, thanks, Bart. But Bart's Polish family's pretty crazy about tradition, too. My strategy to work with my family is stay as far away as possible. <laughs> my father is very traditional. Well, we just came back from the, the church. Catholic, yeah. There's stuff I tell them and stuff I don't tell them um, because I know it may cause a conflict. And Tatiana has a different sort of daddy dilemma. Still trying to find a way of getting her father into the country because he's all the way in Colombia. You always think when you're getting married, you're getting married once. Really, really, we love, but I can't be here for the wedding. <laughs> I don't know, it's like I said, you get married once, you want your father to walk the aisle with you, too. <laughs> you know, to give you away to the man that you're gonna get married. When it comes closer, everything is just getting very stressful. Definitely we need Jane because it's gonna help us a lot with the stress. And take so. the stress away. Enter Jane Deus Hinch, our wedding planner slash fairy godmother, who will grant three wishes to sweep away the stress and mop up the tears. Hello. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Tatiana. And Bart. What problems have you got with your wedding? A lot of stress. Um, which problems don't we have? We don't have the crazy hour details. OK. It's more like a Mardi Gras uh, event where we wear masks and then we have, like, entertainers. This is all new to me. I think most weddings have a crazy hour, just not one that's scheduled. What else? Well, we have the, the gifts, gifts for, for the, the bridesmaids. Girls, for the bridesmaids. We need but for him. Do you need some gifts for the guys? I wanted, yeah, I've been looking. He doesn't even know what to get. I've been looking. Okay. So what else? We don't have the rings yet. He has not decided which one he wants. I haven't had the time, really. <laughs> We've got to make some time yeah, in we there. We have to, yes, you're right. What else? My <laughs> parents are very traditional. They want a Catholic wedding. We decided to have it at a Baptist church. So His father doesn't really know it's not Catholic. You don't think he'll notice? Oh, he'll notice the day of the wedding. Quite interesting that uh, Bart was not going to tell his parents where they were getting married. He was going to let them find out on the day. I think they'd have had a bit of a shock, don't you? It feels really weird that Bart's not very open to his parents, but at the same time, I kind of understand. <laughs> Haven't you sent them an invitation going, we are getting married at this church? <laughs> See, the great thing is that he has a language barrier as well. So his really... English isn't that great. So in a way, that's kind of a benefit for us. I've got big alarm bells now. Incorporate your family. It adds far more meaning. Also, we... my dad is actually in Colombia. And, uh, Your dad's in Colombia. The visa, the yeah. Canadian visa, it's been denied for him to come. We're still trying or fighting to get the temporary visa, mm -hmm. but um, we don't think it's very likely for him to get it. 
Right. Very sad. I don't know anybody in the authorities to say, could you please let him in for the day? We need you. <laughs> Come with me. That's good. Enough polite chit chat. Time to get busy. Have you got your photographer? Have we got a wedding cake? No. Have you got your marriage license? We have not. So now we haven't got a wedding. I think that this calls for a red pen. Get it. Right. See how the days are now building up? <laughs> <laughs> How many headaches come in? <laughs> I thought I was stressed, now I feel more. On our invitations, we ask our guests to wear uh, gold, white, and black colors. What are the men going to wear? Black pants and a uh, green shirt, for example. When Bart suggested that the guys could wear black pants and green shirts, was he listening? Does, does he listen to anything Tatiana is saying? Oh, I see. See, I was... OK. I thought that uh, because they had the colors already in them, that it was okay to wear a different color. No. Okay. But that's okay. Miscommunication. Yes. <laughs> this one hour of madness. I've never been to a loco hora. I never done it before because I haven't been. Oh, even been. better. <laughs> so the bride is now sitting there going, what happens now? <laughs> a bride that's never been to a crazy hour and wants to organise a crazy hour, it's crazy. You haven't booked this? No. An hour is a very long time. And if this falls flat, this could be the most embarrassing time ever. You do need a fairy godmother. And I can help you with three things. Talk it through, and then we'll make it the most fabulous wedding day. <laughs> Mama would say, she's, she's a blessing for us. <laughs> with only eight days to go, Bart isn't doing any favors for Tatiana while they shop for Bon Bonaires. Look at this one, coaster sets. There's four in a package, we can give one to each person. High five. No. You're the cheapest guy in this world. Why would you do that? That would look so bad. It would better Why? just not to give anything. <laughs> Did you have the presents for your guys already? No, I don't. What do you mean you don't have them? Well, I want to make it personal, right? I want to get them something that's... Personal, it's okay to do it personal, but not like a week before the wedding. Oh, man. You need to get this done. What are you going to do? I don't know. You know, maybe we'll just... We'll just call Jane and make this as a wish. You're so lazy. That's not a You're going to get this as a wish? Much to Tatiana's dismay, Bart jumps for Jane. Hello. Hey, Jane, it's Bart. We need your help with finding guests for my groomsmen. These are the guys that, you know, are close to me, and they're always there for me. Leave it with me. If Jane was here, I always, this wedding would be a breeze. What? But Jane doesn't shop blind. She wants the scoop on Bart's boys. If I've got to get gifts, who am I buying for? Who am I organizing for? What am I doing? And besides, Mama could do with a gin and tonic. Hi. Hello, Jane. How, are, how you? are you doing? I'm good. Jane, this is my crew. So how long have you known Bart? We met in high school in grade nine. And ever since, we've just stayed friends from it. You've known him <laughs> the longest. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> since he was a little. Baby, I guess. So. And was he a good boy or was he a bit of a rebel? He's always very adventurous. He's just competitive in their sports or anything we're doing. He loves to try to outshoot us. Are you all slightly competitive? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Mm, just give me an idea. We'll drink to Bart. Drink to me, huh? <laughs> yes. These guys actually value spending time with each other. Instead of buying them a little trinket, why not do something where they can spend quality time and have fun together? The next day, the couple spends some quality time together when Tatiana takes Jane's words to heart. So big. I think it's better that we be more honest with your parents about like how exactly the ceremony is going to be. So they're not surprised or be upset the day of the wedding. You know, that's not going to go over well. I think it's better to tell them. That way your father it will not be disappointed that we kind of left this out for him. <laughs> yeah, you're right. But today is Tatiana's turn to speak the truth about her plans for crazy hour to her bridesmaids. We wear crazy hats, uh, we have the glow sticks, the bracelets. Usually you just have like dancers or entertainers. If you go here, just look for crazy hour. But if you see here, there's like 
professional entertainers all around. You have the entertainers now. I haven't been able to find them. Well, you have to have a plan B. He's just going to ask you, would you guys mind wearing costumes? What? Since the bridesmaids weren't so crazy about Tatiana's plans, it's Hello Jane. Hello. I think I'm going to ask you for one wish. It's about the uh, La Hora Loca, the crazy hour. I really want this to happen and be amazing. No problem. Thank you, Jane. An Hora Loca? Have I got time to go to Colombia to do a bit of research? Sorry, no time for trips. With only five days left, Jane sets off on her crazy mission for costumes and congas. Hi there. Hello. Hi. Welcome to Berman & Co. Oh, Hi. thank you. I'm Kelly. Hello, Kelly. Hi. Oh, look, I had a pair like this. Does that look crazy or does that look stupid? There is a fine difference. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, thank you very Welcome much. Welcome to Soul Drums. Fantastic. I'm trying to create an aura locker. <laughs> Do you think I look like a Viking? Is this the Moulin Rouge? I'll sting you. What is this? What am I? I'm a Londoner and I'm OK. I'm a chicken. I've got a broken wing. This is scary. I can always do regal with a shining night come and find me. Have you got any guys that are any good at this? I think this one suits me, actually. It may be fun and games for Jane, but not so much for the couple when they spill their guts to Bart's dad. We would like to talk to you guys about the wedding, about the ceremony. It's happening at 2 o'clock, obviously. They already know um, that I go to the point. So we decided to do it at the church that I go to. Mm -hmm. So church is a little bit different than the regular Catholic church. It, oh, yeah, not too standard. What's the difference? I mean, there's no crosses there. Cross? No. There's, there's no Jesus cross. No. Right. No. No. It's not an hour and a half mass. I would like to be so relieved and I would like to We want you guys part of this wedding. We want you guys to do a reading. And we want you guys to do it in Polish. Today, Jane has taken the bullseye by the horns and the boys out on the town for Bart's wish. Mm. Wow. Both of you are going to have so much fun. <laughs> These guys are into having fun, action. So this gift, this experience, they'll never forget this. Oh, that's awesome. Please. Every wedding planner should have it. <laughs> Ready, aim, fire! You know when guys say, oh, let's go and do a stag weekend? I think this is far more fun. It's everything you grow up watching, you want to shoot guns. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's good. Oh, you know him so well. <laughs> he shoots like a girl. Shoots like a girl, huh? She shot better than you. <laughs> I think she's done this before. <laughs> I'm afraid, man. All right, dead center. Yeah. yeah. Leading up to the wedding, this is what they'll be talking about the day they went shooting. Shame I was just a better shot than all of them. This one looks like you just beat it with a Louisville slugger anyway. Well, this is actually a great gift. It brought us all together and we all enjoyed it. Yeah, it's really surprising. Didn't think that this would happen. That's awesome. Wow. The next afternoon, Bart trades the gun for some quiet time with Tatiana and her family. Ooh, look what Daddy sent me. That's what he got you? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I don't know how. <laughs> look. This is so nice. How do I look? See? Look, huh? Ooh, Ooh. Beautiful. Let's hope he answers. Hello, papi? Sí, de ayer en la tardecita. Ay, sí, papito. Sí, sí, me dijo. OK, papi, un besito. Chao. They told him that he needed to wait six months to reapply for the visa, so. To be honest with you, I don't want to have hopes. Yes, at least have some faith, OK? I don't like seeing her in that stage where she's very emotional. I want her to enjoy it, even though it's stressful right now. I don't want any more stress on her. So later that day, Bart makes a local call about Tatiana's faraway dad. Hello, Bart. It's still looking pretty rough to get the visa for Tatiana's father. I wanted to see her happy, and that's it, right? Let me see what I can do. Perfect. Thank you, Jane. Make Tatiana happy somehow. Get her father there. This magic wand 
can't do that. Reality. But I can get him there through technology. So Jane zooms in on the wish for daddy with one of her techie pals. Thanks, Mark, for coming to meet me here today because I've got a bride whose father can't make it to the wedding. He's out in Colombia, and I'm hoping through technology and you, you're going to help me to make this connection so he can see and hear the wedding. How? Yes, it's going to go beyond that. I can help you, but not only is he going to see and hear it, but he's going to experience the wedding from Bogota. I can help you with that, no problem. This is my domain. Welcome to Geekville. Let's oh, go. am I going to learn something? I think you might. <laughs> All this technology is available, but I wouldn't know where to start. Especially given a tight deadline and a budget would be a web camera, a high okay. definition web yeah. camera. So we're talking, you know, crystal clear quality, both video and audio, something that looks great. It's widescreen and to really capture that emotion. So okay. dad could really feel like he's there he's watching, there. watching the ceremony. Now, if we get the technology here, how am I going to get it to dad? How am I going to get him to know what to do. Well, we could send him a webcam as well, and so long as he's got an internet-connected computer, it's as easy as connecting over Windows Live Messenger, and they can have a real-time conversation. And I think that uh, I've got the right product for you. Oh, Yeah, okay. why don't we have a look? Great wish. Just hope technology works. With one day before the wedding, Bart and Tatiana are trying to make their rehearsal work, but so far, it's not looking so good. Yeah, but there's... To nie jest Christian. To nie jest Christian. To ty przeszedłeś na wiarę jak? No, 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 nie przeszedł, po prostu to jest jej kościół, no. He wants it to be a Catholic process. So he wants the amen, he wants all that. And he doesn't necessarily understand the fact that obviously not a Catholic. Yeah. There is no more drama. He's fine. Yeah, trust me. Trust me. Look at me. I just want to go. I just want to go. I just want to go. Bart and Tatiana's wedding plans weren't exactly open for discussion. I think it's better that we be more honest with your parents. And then they really got themselves in holy water. He wants it to be a Catholic process. So after the couple's rehearsal, Jane made amends with Bart's dad. So what we've agreed is that after the wedding, you go to Dad's church and the priest blesses you and your marriage. That's all. And it's made him happy. Jane made the couple extra happy with three wedding wishes. For wish one, she helped Bart aim for a memorable groomsman's gift. Wow. Wish two spun Jane into a frenzy for Colombian Crazy Hour. Does that look crazy or does that look stupid? And wish three was to have Tatiana's faraway father included in the festivities. You get married once, you want your father to walk the aisle with you. Today is the wedding day, and the father of the bride's presence isn't the only thing in question. It's four minutes to two. I have no music, no pastor, so we've got no wedding, no marriage license, and no programs. With, with the pastor. Remember, the pastor's Spanish, so he's a link. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So for a two o'clock wedding, we might be on for three. Yes. A Spanish wedding. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Is that right? There's only 20 programs. There's only 20 between everyone. Every photocopy. <laughs> well, that's the last minute. <laughs> no one's here? Is the wedding still on? Is this the pasta? Um, it's 15 minutes late. Tell me that's the license in his hand. Oh, he's not rushing. From Highway 7, you gotta go north, right? The music's on its way, it's lost. They gave the music for the wedding to people who didn't know where the church was. But I think we should just start without the music. Just, we should wait for the music? Yes. Yes, the music and... I'd wait for the bride, actually. I'd like the bride. Ask and you shall receive. Tell me there's a bride in here. I need a bride. Thank you. Something we have to do before we walk down the aisle. Okay. Come with me. Antonio. Hi. Hello. Hi. Who's this? Yeah, I'm ready. Mamá, tú estás linda como estás de bella. Daddy. Como que te estuvieras aquí. He's like he was here. That's right, that's right, he is here. He is here, he's been waiting for you. I, I wanted uh, to see you 
all time happy. Doesn't he look smart? He's pretty shirt. Sure. He's at the wedding. I know, puppy. It's like you're here with me, and I'm happy. Yeah. Do you want to see her dress? Look. Yeah, yeah. Every dress is beautiful. It was just magical to see the two of them share that moment. It was everything to Tatiana. We have to go. Puppy, I love you. Okay. I, I love you too. We're going to the wedding. You'll see. My Hermosa Tatiana, many people spend their lives searching for the special someone. I am one of those lucky people because I certainly found you. I will be your lover, your companion, and your best friend for the rest of your life, for the rest of my life. I will always love you passionately. I love you, mi corazón. Since day one, I knew I would end up marrying you. And here we are. I just You not only will be my husband, you also will be my best friend. And I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you and grow old. Because I can't see myself without you. I love you. I do now declare husband and wife. And from the moving ceremony to a touching toast. Dear Tatiana and Bart, I will always be there for you anytime you need me in times of celebration in times of sharing in also in bad times to have tatiana's father make a speech live at the wedding pass the tissues i love you both god bless you everybody i'm happy today <laughs> is that he was everywhere with me. You know, it was amazing. Wow. And then and then just to hear his speech, it was just the best thing ever. You know, seeing her happy, so happy on your wedding day is I, the uh, best gift ever. I'm, I was happy. Now a very emotional couple of hours transforms into one mucho crazy hour. Is this Crazy. And best thing ever seeing Jane being part of oh it. Oh my god, that costume that she, she had. She is just, just crazy too. My dad was having a blast. It was unbelievable. Just to know that you know he he approves and he's happy for us. I think you know that both of us takes a lot off our shoulders. I never thought it was gonna um, be so amazing. Yeah, Jane made it a happily ever after. Absolutely. It's been quite heartfelt and very moving. And this couple, I wish them every happiness in their future married life together, because it's going to be great. It's perfect. I swear. Perfect. <laughs> Up and down. No, that's not doing it. Don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> 